Two months down the line, the whereabouts of over 200 girls kidnapped by the group remains unclear, despite pledges of international assistance to the Nigerian government. Protesters have been putting pressure on the Nigerian government to speed up their rescue. In the latest effort to find a solution to Nigeria's security crisis, international leaders meeting in London have pledged to provide Nigeria with more military support. British Foreign Secretary William Hague said the international community would enhance training for Nigeria's military. Defeating Boko Haram will be a long and difficult task, but the atrocities committed against innocent and vulnerable communities are too important to ignore. And all of the countries gathered here today have shown that we are certainly not going to ignore them, and our resolve to defeat them has been further increased. The meeting in London followed a similar gathering of West African leaders in Paris in May to try to improve cooperation in the fight against Boko Haram. But despite these efforts, Boko Haram has continued its insurgency, launching numerous attacks in the country. It's clearly um, formidably difficult terrain and formidably difficult circumstances in which to locate people. But that work carries on and the Foreign Minister of Nigeria will be able to speak about that as well. Fighting the militant group has proved the biggest challenge yet for the Nigerian government since Boko Haram launched its insurgency five years ago. There are fears that this insurgency could destabilize the whole region. African leaders at the summit hope that the latest initiative to strengthen the Nigerian military will help contain insecurity in the region. Susan Mongeli, CCTV.